Hey guys, Rudy Rodriguez here coming to you from uh, Las Vegas here a special interview with uh, Mr. Ray Hagen, uh, internet marketing and network marketing top producer, number one income earner in your network marketing opportunities. Actually my last company. We okay. actually merged into another company, so my last company, just for clarification. Okay, your previous company, number one income yeah. earner. And I uh, really wanted to take a moment to interview uh, Mr. Ray Hagen and ask, uh, ask him the question because he's had quite a track record of success. Why do most network marketing businesses fail? And uh, what to do about it? You know, how did you succeed? How do you help your uh, your team members succeed? You know, sure. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. Um, the uh, I mean, there's a couple things. There's there's the basic business fundamentals of the numbers. You know, most network marketers they don't talk to enough people, and the people they do talk to they say too much. So that's a kind of a standard, just an obvious answer. Um, you know. Most people aren't consistent. Um, I would say that's you know probably what I'm known for more than anything is just being consistent. However, just the simple teaching of a daily routine isn't enough to make someone consistent. Uh, what actually makes you consistent is not the knowledge of a routine, but it's the creation of a vision. And so if you know who you want to become, then you will be consistent. When my feet hit the ground, there's a gray matter in my spine that drives me to go do the things that provide value to the marketplace. And it's not a, boy, I really should do it. It's, I am going to do it because the vision of who I want to become dictates that. Most people don't have that vision. They're here to make money. Or they're here for the latest gadget or, or whatever. And they don't have that long-term vision of who they want to become. That's why they're not consistent. So people that are overwhelmed, they're just suffering from procrastination because they, they don't have an actual vision of who they want to grow into. So I'm hearing uh, it's all about knowing, I guess not, not just your why, but who you are as a human being, who you want to grow to as a human being. It really is. You know, why is the popular thing to say? Because a why is commercially digestible. So if I say, I really want to spend more time with my kids, that's commercially acceptable, it's commercially digestible, everyone will say, good for you, man. But it isn't, if you've noticed, most people have the same why for five years, then it's not strong enough. And so you have to internalize which a lot of people, depending on your personality, can, can be difficult, can be challenging. But if you look at, like for example, who I want to become, I want to inspire and impact nations of people. I want to make such a, you know, like Steve Jobs says, a dent in the universe. You know, I'm not playing small. I don't want to go make an affiliate commission or, or something like that. I want to impact millions of people over the span of my career. And so that dictates to me to do things in a certain way for my brand, for myself, but if you notice, it is internal, but it is helping others and impacting and inspiring. And so the why is just, it's just not usually strong enough to dictate your times through the tough times, because there will be tough times. Wow. So what would you say to a, uh, a brand new network marketer, or maybe a struggling a leader who's struggling in business, who's yeah. he's stuck for whatever reason, wherever he's, wherever he's stuck, How, what tip would you give them to have a breakthrough in their lives and in their businesses? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's a different uh, animal. You know, the, the leader who's stuck is, what I've found over the years, is usually because they've received a certain amount of recognition and they feel that they've made it. Um, I never wanted to feel that. I never wanted to feel like I've arrived. Um, so I've continued to get myself around bigger, bigger thinkers. Um, you know, our last event, we had Kevin Harrington from the Shark Tank. Um, he's done $4 billion in revenue. We had Russ Whitney, who's, you know, done millions and millions and millions. And so it's for the leader that's stuck, it's because they've, they've accepted a level of recognition that they feel is their version of success. And so when you release that, you can get around bigger people that think infinitely bigger, then you have the possibility of, of a bigger vision. Um, for the new person, uh, my suggestion would be to start working on who do you want to be? You know, how, how do you want to impact this planet? How will you help human suffering? What are the big things that will that will drive you to, to really go out there and do it? It's not, you know, just talk to X number of people a day. That's part of the business. It's part of any business. But it really is, who do you want to become? And that may include some of your different whys, but, you know, you really got to fill in those gaps, which, you know, it takes people some time to do that. But you really want to, you know, what do you want to be known as? How do you want to be known in your marketplace? And who do you want to grow into is, you know, my big suggestion everyone, but especially the new person. Do you have any uh, action or step that you would recommend something for them to do that would take yeah. that a breakthrough in their lives? Sure. 
you know, I mean, just, you know, envision, envision yourself with having everything and, and really the way that you want. Like, my vision is very different from other people's vision. But what is it that you want? For example, you can deconstruct why's. So, like a lot of people, they say, I want to, you know, I want to quit my job. And I'll say, okay, well, what will you be doing at Tuesday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern on a, two, you know, on a regular day? And they haven't filled that out. So they haven't actually created a vision. They just have a commercially digestible that everyone will give them a thumbs up to uh, why, uh, which isn't powerful. And so fill in those gaps. You know, what will be, you know, if you're, you know, uh, someone that loves, loves to help people and stuff, um, you know, how will your speech go at the charity dinner that you just raised a million dollars for? Okay. How will the looks on the people's faces be when they come up and thank you for helping them, whatever that charity is? Now, if you're more um, material-driven, which I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, it's whatever. If you're helping people, that's great. Uh, you know, what, what will the doorknobs be on your kitchen cabinets? Uh, what color will the granite be in your dream house? Uh, what activities will you play with your kids in your backyard? You know, so that's filling in those visions. If you're a speaker, how bright will the lights be? You know, how we, what shoes will you be wearing on stage, and how will the looks of, of the people that thank you after you give your speech? You know, those are, those are all parts of a vision that you can fill in that until you see it like a vision, it's just not going to happen. And, you know, as far as actual steps, um, they know what to do. They know they need to talk to more people. They know they need to provide value. They know they need to create videos and stuff like that. They know they need to attend events. So your vision will dictate that if you, if you create it. That's why I'm so, so big on it. Um, you know, I've told people for years, go talk to X number of people a day, and they won't, you know. If they create a vision, they will, but they won't if I just give them, here's a simple routine, just follow that. They'll feel good after they, they watch it, but then they just won't follow it, so kind of a new point. Starting with the end of mind. Start with the end of mind, absolutely. Awesome. Thank you, Rick. That's yeah. Stuff, man. My you pleasure. Sharing that with me and uh, yeah. everybody out there. Yeah. So everyone, uh, hope you guys enjoy this interview with Ray Higdon answering the question why most network marketing businesses don't work and what to do about it. If you want to get some more video tips, uh, go to uh, mlmmyth.com and uh, download your free video training. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.